let, let's not make it more grandiose than it was. You know what I mean? Like it was very much in the same vein as you. Like it was by no means like me thinking, hey, I'm going to be an Eidos or, you know, sure, any sure. of these other EA. No, I was, I was forced into it based on my context because I was at the time we were, my family and I were, we were living in Mongolia of all places. And, wow. um, and so there was absolutely nothing to do. Right. Except for, of course, like outdoor activities. Sure. But like, it wasn't like there was like, we weren't out getting an ice cream because there was literally no ice cream shops. You know mm. what I mean? It was, it was just, it wasn't for a kid. It was a very interesting place, unique place, great place. But I had a computer and so I played video games. I spent a lot of like they're, they're, the winter is genuinely like six months a year. It like gets under th minus 30 out there. It's like Siberia. Jeez. So you, you're, you're inside and there's only so much you can do. And so I loved playing video games. Of course, any kid did. And I had a computer and I started to like slowly but surely teach myself how to make some of this stuff. And it wasn't about, it wasn't about the commercializing of it. It was, can I make this thing? Cause I've basically run out of playing time with this like game I've <laughs> played all the way through a billion times sure, now, right? right? And then it was a case of realizing it was the exercise of like creativity that was such so intoxicating. Mm -hmm. And the idea that you could create something from nothing as a kid was very perspective defining. And you didn't require adult supervision. You didn't require adult um, consent. Yeah. You didn't require money. You didn't any of those things. It was like, you can make whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. But my point being that like, that was very defining in and to itself. And then what I, what I took away from that experience, which was probably more important than anything else was that I was a terrible coder. But the better my stories, the better the, the consideration for characters and the journey and what happens at what point, the more immersive the game became. And that as a proxy for what I do now and everything I do sure. and everything you do, for example, is it's about, it's about the integrity of the thing and the journey and the experience as a consumer and the value that's derived from it, less so the technical, like, sophistication right of some of these things so that was that was my big journey but it did lead to a lot of further endeavors and, and entrepreneurship in in technology as a result of that so gaming was my entry point into into this world absolutely yeah hey everyone thanks for checking out that clip if you enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button down below and if you're interested in hearing the full episode it's out right now on our youtube channel We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.